Hey guys, so as you can see, it's that time again. I've just got back from work. I've not sat an arsehole. I saw this. I wanted to get open straight away. I want to know what's inside. I'm really excited for this. Mostly quite thankful that this has came now because as you might have heard in my previous video, I am moving in a couple of weeks. So when this is filming, I'm going to be moving in just under two weeks and so if the box came while I moved out of this flat that would be a bit of a nightmare but yeah I'm glad that it's here now so let's go and open this up okay so to start with we've got our featured artist of the month and this is a lovely illustration it is by Joanne Fee Joanne Fee also goes by her Instagram handle of milk too so yeah, you can just read that if you want she's 20 years old 20 years? She's 21 years old from Portugal, illustrator, she, yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's her, I do like this, I always like the features out of the month, they show me a variety of styles, and with this, I am most confident this is going to be done with watercolours or something like that, as well, what gave away, I think, this paper, very thick watercolour paper, so first, oh, I'm going to get rid of that, oh, I, I know what they are, but first, so, I think the theme of this month is green or something like that, because um, green sticker, green pencils, green flower redesign, but as always, I like the pencil. Quite excited for this, as that's a metal tin. We got a little sweet. Okay, I'm really excited. So, um, if you don't know, watercolour is something that I want to use more, but I don't, because I either feel like my palette's never good enough to use and so I get this quote of using it or I never feel like it's too big as well. And so I do have a little Cotman watercolour set which I will get out. I have these two Cotman sets and so this was my first watercolour set which my high school teacher gave me. However, as you can see, it's a bit all knackered and a lot of these colours as well were all used up. So like this yellow, um, this brown, the white definitely. So when they got used up, I replaced them with Poundland watercolours, and you can definitely see the difference. And so my main palette, which I do use quite when I do watercolour painting, is this Cotman palette. Everyone has seen this on the internet. It's a really good palette for the price. You get a lot of colours. I think I paid about 20 quid, 25 quid. However, I have wanted a new travel palette, and so I was looking at Cass Arts travel palettes, um, like their own brand. However, I didn't think I uh, so won't get that yet because they're quite professional colours. I just want something I can play with on the go. So this is a nice cute little set. I'm really, actually really excited with, for this. Let's open this up. Comes, so you get just the basics that you know. So you get two blues, two two ready, um, two reds, two orange yellows, one green, another orangey colour, um, three earthy colours and a black. Thank God you don't get a white because white is such a useless colour. You don't need it. I hate it when palettes put a white in. Maybe white gouache. That's something different which you can put in the side. I feel like this comes out maybe. Um, here's good. Here's me struggling and I probably can just read the instructions. So yeah, I'll look at my sec. But I'm really excited for that actually. That is. The, I feel like just getting this alone is probably worth the box. So you got Posca pen, it's like the paint markers from the last scroll box, but Posca's own brand. I've used Posca pen before, I've actually got quite a few white ones, but I haven't got one this small, so that's good to have. Now, these two colouring pencils, these, are, are these polychromos? Yes. Uh, you can't really, it's not focusing, but yeah. So these are two Faber-Castell polychromos pencils. This is actually really good to test these out because I do want to get more colouring pencils. Right now I use Arteza's colouring pencils, which are really nice, don't get me wrong. But the downside is that I've realised, the downside that I've realised of using them, if the colour runs out, you can't buy the colours separately and so you have to buy the entire box again, which I don't want to do. And so I want to look into other more sustainable colouring pencils for in the future. Um, just because often with colouring sets there's often a couple of colours you'll use more than the rest. So it's just m more, eh, I don't even know what I'm saying now. It's just more sustainable in that sense. So I have wanted to test these out. Quite nice we get these. Finally we get, it's a Stadial Nor Nor Norris? Stadial Norris erasable pencil. So I think this is Stadial's version of, what do you call? Christmas colour, that's it, yes. Sorry, sorry, I've just been work all day and my mind's just all over the place. But yeah, 
So this is Steeler's colour reverse pencil basically, but Steeler version. This is a pol um, prism colour. As you can see, it's a bit of a size difference actually, but this has already been pre-sharpened, so that's probably why. So that's good. Um, I do like using colour erase pencils just because when doing animation, we often do our sketches in both red and blue. And so when we need to erase them, it's good to use an erasable pencil. As I was saying, I'm very happy with this month's box, as I always am. I love scroll box because they do send you good supplies every month. And it is a different challenge. You get to try out new things that I haven't had a box yet where I haven't had all the supplies before. And so I do get to learn new supplies, find out some new favourites new favorites actually like the ink pen from a couple months ago so yeah very happy with this very happy get try polychromos and the other two are just added things so if we look at the list as you can see you've got the watercolors which are about 13 quid the past um favor castell pencils which come to about two pounds each the erasable color pencil which is about 80 pence the posca pen which is extremely ex ex the Posca pen, which is extremely expensive, I didn't realise, which is about three quid twenty, about three quid, um, give or take, depends. We get a discount stuff, and then the watercolor paper, and we have two sheets of Langton Prestige watercolor paper, three hundred GSM. So that's gonna be nice to work on. And the theme for this month's box, sorry, point away. And the theme for this month's box is summer flourish. So that means gardens, flowers, bright, all neat, all things sort of summer related. So I'm going to really have fun with this. I don't know if I'm going to work on this or in my sketchbook because I feel like this is a really sketchbook type of thing. These are definitely sketchbook supplies which I'll be taking on the go. But I'm just going to experiment with these now, see how they work well, see how...
guys, um, this is like the fourth, fifth time I'm trying to record this. I've done this so many times, it's not got well. So this is going to be probably the final cut of it. If it's not great, I apologise. I'm just fed up with this. This is like the video that never happened because of how stressful it's been. And that's because, mostly because of moving. I have finally moved now and into my new room, as I'm going to guess. But this video to make was made over several weeks before I did whenever I could in the process of moving in different spaces. That's why the lighting changes and flickers, my apologies. So yeah, just got a few things I just want to say. Uh, first off, this wall box, as I always say, I really loved it this month. I love the supplies, I love to see the waterfalls in general, I love this new palette. It's definitely going to be a new go-to in my sketchbook, in my pencil case when I take it out about. I really love the illustration as well. I feel like I was able to get out of my bubble almost because I've been suffering a bit with art block lately. So yeah, that was good. I've been able to get out of that. So I'm sorry if you can hear my Mac fan in the background. It's very hot in my room right now. It's like we have a heat wave in the UK. And so yeah, it's not good getting better. I really want to invest in a new mic in the next couple of months because that'd be so great. Invest in a new computer, that would be even better, but small steps at a time. So yeah. I just got a few things I want to say. So, as I'm filming this, I'm currently editing the video right now, which is my moving vlog, which will hopefully be coming out um, at the end of this month or probably halfway through next month, depending on how much I can get edited. Cut is a big thing, it's probably going to be like 30 minutes, probably at least. I'm low close to it. It's been really fun to film actually, and editing, I'm trying to use a creative challenge, trying to push my limits for my editing skills. So, that's coming. It's actually to show my process start to finish of moving house, my new um, workspace, studio space, my new room. So yeah, I hope you guys like the way it comes out. If not, um, well, I'm doing it for myself to be honest. So yeah, um, I don't know where else to go with that. But on from that as well, I want to start going to more weekly vlogs or showing the perspective like the animations too, which is something I want to focus on more in the next couple of videos as we get back into the back to school season. And so with that, I have got ideas for art shoot videos such as supplies you might need as an animation student, um, expectations of studying art at different degree levels, so GCSE, A level, university, etc. Um, art habits and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that. I'm sorry, I'm reading off the script as well. That's why it might seem a little rambled, a little like two form strip because I have actually got a script if I planned this for once. So yeah. Um, next thing I want to talk about is collaborations in the future. So as going into second year, I want to start doing more collabs with your classmates or people within inside my university outside it. As I know there's a lot of great local artists where I live, so that'll be cool. Um, it'll be good to see, especially on my Instagram to start with at least, and then maybe moving on to the channel. And then finally, so as part of like vlogging style I want to do, I also want to show more of my animation work on my YouTube because I want to use my YouTube as a great outlet also as a little portfolio to go aside my main portfolio when I leave university. I want to show all the projects I do, stuff that and um, how I get from start to finish behind the scenes so that you guys can also see how my thought process works and what it's like to actually do animation. So yeah, they may come in either separate videos or as I say, weekly, bi-weekly vlogs. So I really want to do it because first year was so good and there's so many notes I just missed I didn't capture. And so I really want to get into the habit of trying vlogging it and capturing the moment. But it's just stuff I don't want to forget in a couple of years down. So yeah, that's my script over. Um, and actually, I've only got a bit of time left in the video before it finishes. So yeah, sorry if you can't hear me as well. I've got all my flat mates in right now, so I'm trying to film while I'm not disturbing any of them. But as I said, I really like this illustration. Um, I've said it before, it really got outside of my comfort bubble, as you can say. It does have fun with my work, and this is what I want to do more of, just like letting go, not really caring about like nitty gritty details. And so, as I've done here, um, I'm trying to get out of line work. Um, this was something I had to struggle with this illustration because I did my line art in like red, but then it showed through. And so I was like, oh no, I was going to try and do a line this work. But as I go forward to improve my art, and if you don't know, Bailey J is also doing this. She's doing an art improvement series. I'm doing myself one just by myself, not actually showing sure, but like my work. And one of the things I want to start doing is doing lineless artwork, so more like digital paintings which look more organic. Those that got the bold lines, dark stretches, stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully that will show my work in the next couple of weeks and months, I don't know. 
but I just want to ramble on about that. But overall, I really love this month's box, as I always do. I would highly recommend it. As I'm filming this, my next, my next box should be coming about two weeks, hopefully. So yeah, that'd be fun. And I, as I said, I can't wait. These are probably one of my favourite things that I do every month, to be honest. It just gives me such a creative boost. Just trying out new things, even though it's not like, might not be the newest supply. Just getting new items and messing about, but it's just so fun and I love it. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below if with the Back to School series, if you think it's a good idea, any ideas you might want to suggest, and I'll see if you can do them. Hey yeah, guys, my social medias are down below in the description box. I hope you enjoyed the video and carry on being creative.